I'm Holly, that's Ray, and this is our home, Sabado. Subscribe to Tag Along on the Adventure. just cleared through customs and immigration here in Antigua and now we're just moving the boat around the corner to hopefully find a quieter anchorage. Alright, this is where we've ended up. Not a bad view, huh? This is actually a really fancy resort. I think it's upwards of $2,000 a night to stay, but we've just parked our house here for free. We made the switch to lithium batteries a few months ago now and we've gotten some requests to do an updated review on the corresponding changes that we made to the galley when we upgraded our batteries so I figured I'd just give you the rundown. The first thing you'll probably notice is we got rid of our microwave and the giant wooden box that it lived in. It definitely opened up a lot of space over here and makes the galley overall look a lot bigger and brighter. Because we got rid of that box, we were able to mount our paper towels underneath the cabinetry here, which has been really nice. And then we also were able to switch to some bigger storage containers over here because we now have access to the wider part of that ledge. In terms of new appliances, we have switched over to an electric kettle, which has been awesome. We use it every single morning. And then our friends got us this custom cutting board that fits perfectly over our gas stove top, which is great because it's made this usable counter space when I'm using my induction cooktop. This thing has been great. I love it. It gets hot really fast. It has a timer function, and when we're underway, I just put a reusable silicone mat in between this and the pot so that the pot doesn't slide around. I have no complaints about this. We also now consistently have enough power to use our ice maker. We've had this thing for several years and it's great. I wish it didn't live up on the galley counter like this, but I haven't quite found a better spot for it. And we're using it so much more now, it's really convenient to have it up here and by the sink. Lastly, and in my opinion, most importantly, we got rid of our propane oven and replaced it with this Instant Omni Pro. 
I use this thing every day, probably twice a day. It has an air fry setting, roast, broil, bake, slow cook, warm, reheat, proof, toast, and dehydrate. So it does it all. It also comes with a rotisserie and a meat thermometer that actually hooks up to the oven. So if you're underway or something and you don't want to be babysitting whatever you've got in the oven, you can actually set it to turn off once whatever you're cooking has reached a certain temperature. And it also has a food turn alarm. So when it senses that your food is getting a little bit toasty, it'll beep at you, which is also really great when you're sailing and you don't want to worry about things burning. I also really like this detail here. All of the accessories for the oven slide into these little grooves on the sides. I've done a lot of cooking in pretty rough weather and I haven't had any problem with things sliding around. Ray just installed some temperature controlled fans back here to help with airflow, but that's it. I think the only thing I would do differently if I was doing it all over again is go ahead and invest in a high-powered blender. <laughs> now that we have enough power to actually use our appliances, I just realized that that was something that we didn't really prioritize, and I wish we did. But other than that, I would repurchase every single one of these appliances. And with the lithium system that we had installed, I've been able to use all of these things regularly. I decided I'm not done swimming for the day. There's even some purple in there. I wonder if this is some sort of granite. There's a lot of life right at the waterline too. We've got barnacles, snails, lichen. It's so pretty. 